you know what time it is, Swatch and Sip, where we grab a drink and we look at some beautiful swatches of some beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Pause this video. Make yourself a drink. Okay, are you ready? I made a hazelnut latte this morning, so let's get into it. We have a huge launch from, I'm gonna say it, one of my favorite brands when it comes to eyeshadows from Odin's Eye. It is their Jewel Shine Collection and they are gonna be launching, I believe, 42 single eyeshadows in this collection. So this is launching tomorrow, January 5th at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Make sure you have my notification bell on because I will notify you in my community tab, my discount code, which will save you some money and when the products launch. But I have, I think I have every single eyeshadow to swatch for you guys today. So basically what the launch is going to be, this Jewel Shine collection are shimmery, glimmery, multi chromy beautiful eyeshadows and I feel so so grateful that they sent this to me in the mail because now I get to just play with some beautiful eyeshadows and if you don't know if you don't follow me I am a sucker for Odin's Eye Shimmer Shadows. So we are actually getting two different formulations. I feel like there's more than two formulations in here, but there are multi-chrome shades in here and there are also single shadows. So the multi-chrome eyeshadows are gonna be $14.90 each. And then the shimmer shades, which do not fall short of pretty even compared to the multi-chrome shades, are only gonna be $6.90, which I think is a really a great deal. I think single shadows and customizing your own palettes might be a thing this year. And I think Odin's Eye is going to start off, off with that. So I have all 12 of the multi-chrome shadows here in this palette. You can also purchase this 12 color storage palette for $6.90. So that's a pretty good deal. You can also buy a single compact for a single eyeshadow for $2.90 if there's only just like a specific shade that you wanna get into. So let me tempt you really quickly. I just want to show you what the shadows are looking like right here is the multi-chrome shades. I hope the camera is able to pick up the shimmers and there is shifts. It's always a little hard to show on camera. The mirror trick, I swear I can't get to work for me. But we also have like 30 shimmer shadows, which these look just as beautiful as the multi-chrome shadows. So this is shades one through 12. And then I had to pull out one of my own empty palettes. This is from the brand Perfect Palettes, 13 to 30 for the rest of the shades. So these are more blue. So we're gonna swatch every single one. My arm is gonna fall off, but we gotta do it because it's that beautiful. Cheers. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the multi-chrome shades. So these ones are a little bit more expensive. Honestly, a lot more expensive, $14.90. But multi-chrome shadows are always exceptionally more expensive because of the ingredients that they require to make. And let's see what Odin's Eye has in store for us. So the first one that we have right here is, I'm actually gonna turn the lights down pretty dark because it's actually quite sunny out right now. This is M001 Lola, which is supposed to be a white base, light green, light pink and blue multi-chrome effect. Then we have M002 Ingrid, which is a green, light, gold, and pink multi-chrome effect. Then we're gonna get into Maja or Maha, an orange, pink, light, gold, and pink with fine shimmer multi-chrome effect. And then we have Angela right here. So here's what they look like. Okay, here we go. So we have Lola, which is number one. Ingrid, which is number two, Maja or Maha, number three, and then number four, we have Angela. Ooh, they look a little bit more impactful in person than they're pulling up on the swatch, but you can see the shifts right here. They have a very light, slick feel to them. They aren't too thick, which I like, but I also do like when they do feel thick, so, but really pretty. So next we have Isabella. Judy, No, and Thor. Oof, look at these. I think the showstopper is Isabella. Everybody has had their eye on this one because the shift is the strongest. 
So number five, Isabella, is a gold copper and red brown fine shimmer multi-chrome effect. Judy is a light purple, pink, and baby blue multi-chrome. No is a pink base, pink gold, and purple multi-chrome. And then Thor is a purple, green, gold, three color multi-chrome. Pat McGrath has a shade that's similar to this. So this is what these guys are looking like. Really gorgeous. So we have Eden right here. I just wanna show you, I have Eden on the main part of my eyelid. And that's what it looks like. And then I popped a little bit of Leon right here, this darkest shade, just to darken a little bit. And I'll talk about that shade in a second. But first, let's swatch. So again, we have Eden, Dimitri. I'm excited to swatch this. Marius and Leon. Here's what they look like on my finger. So these ones are definitely more deep jewel tones. So Eden has a pink base, rose pink and gold and light pink multi-chrome effect. I, I realized that was just completely out of focus. Come here. Okay, there we are. <laughs> Dimitri has a dark base, bright blue, purple and blue fine shimmers multi-chrome effect. <sighs> That's rich. I love that. That's gorgeous. Oh, you can do a mean smoky eye with this. Marius is a metallic copper, gold and brown green multi-chrome effect. Kind of Christmassy going on here, isn't it? And then we have Leon, which is the bright red and black with bright red shimmers multi-chrome effect. And I have to say this shade, it's one of the three shades that I use today. It's not my favorite. It applies really PC and chunky to the eyelid. So I didn't like this one, but I did like the shade right here. It applied beautifully. So this one isn't the best formulation in my opinion, but ooh, the rest, Stunning. Haven't put them on my eyelids, obviously, but you can see the shifty effects here. So these are all 12 of the multi-chrome shades that Odin's Eye is coming out with. Let's go ahead and take a look at the shimmer shades next. Coming up next, we are going into the large 30 shimmer shadows, which are pretty cheap, I think, $6.90, especially if they're the typical Odin's eye quality, we'll see about that. I have shades one through 12, and the names are gonna begin with an S in this palette right here, and then we'll get into the next section, but I just want you to take a look. Like I said, this one is S1 all the way to S12. I'll give you the names as I go ahead and swatch them. The shadow that I have right now on my face is this one right here, S6 Ella. This is the inner corner highlight, and you can see it's very, very sparkly. So just because these are technically shimmer shades and they're more affordable, that doesn't take away from the sparkle or anything. It's not like a bland shade at all. It just doesn't have the same shifts, but some of these are complete duochromes. Okay, let's watch them. I can't wait anymore, but first. So we're gonna go Emma, Olivia, Ava, I can't wait to swatch this. I've been eyeing this shade. And then Charlotte. Here's what they look like on my fingers. And then you can see the sparkles happening here. Really stunning. Now, they aren't as pigmented as I thought they would be. Like, they don't have as much of a pigmented base. It's going to be more so about the sparkle effect on the eye, which I am not mad about. So, Shimmer 1, Emma. Olivia. Ava, and then Charlotte right here. Charlotte's very, very sparkly with that deeper base. So you can see a little less pigment, but they're gonna be very reflective on the eyelids. Mia, Ella, Chloe looks stunning, and then Emily. What do you guys think? <gasps> that looks so pretty. So here's Mia, that's gorgeous. Honestly, it looks like what I have on my eyelid right now. Then Ella, this is what is my inner corner highlight right now. So beautiful and sparkly. Okay, Chloe, I've been excited to see Chloe. Really nice sparkly shade. These kind of look like a ColourPop Super Shock shadow. And then we have Emily, right up my alley with the purple shades. This one has a little bit more of a pigmented base. Those are the next four. Okay, now we have the deeper shades in my last 12 panner. So this one is Stella. Has a little bit more of a thick feeling to it. I think LVI or is it IVI? 
not sure. Then we have Nora, and then number 12, Lucy. So these shades right here have more of a pigmented base. They're less sparkly. So these are different formulations, even though they say these are shimmers. Some are more sheer, some have more pigment, some are more sparkly. It just depends what you're looking for. Stella's right here. Ivy. Oof. Nora. I love Nora. Nora's right up my alley for any cool toned look. And then... Lucy. And here we have shimmers 1 through 12. So sparkly. Just because they're named shimmers doesn't mean they don't have the beautiful sparkles. And just so you can see the difference between the shimmer formulations and the multi-chrome formulations, the multi-chromes definitely have more of a pigmented base, whereas the shimmers, I feel like most of them are just more sparkly, but both are going to be beautiful on the eyelids. Let's move on to the last palette that I filled. Alrighty, let's take a look at the last palette that I filled. You'll see I used the brand Perfect Palettes in case you're curious. But these are shimmer shades 13 all the way down to 30 right here. So these ones are more cool toned, kind of deeper I would say. Let's just go ahead and swatch them. We're going to do Samantha, Victoria, Laura, and Jacob. They seem quite thick, right? They have a little bit more to them, I would say. Samantha has more of that pigmented base, right? But it's still very reflective. It has a thicker feel. It's not as slick. Victoria. Same deal, less sparkles, but very, very reflective. Oof, Laura, Neutral Lovers, look at this. This is going to be gorgeous all over the eyelid. So these ones, I would say, are more true shimmers as opposed to having all of those sparkles, but stunning nonetheless. And then we have Jacob, which is this very pretty shimmery aqua blue shade. I'm excited to swatch these blues. This is Nicholas, Daniel, David, and Anthony. These are all boy names. Oh, I know Odin's eye could do a good blue. Let's just say that. Okay, so 17, Nicholas. Very pretty. Daniel. There's nothing more satisfying than swatching blue eyeshadows, I swear. Okay, I've been excited for David because it looks extra sparkly in the pan. Oh my gosh, this is more rich than I thought it was going to be. A moment for David. Wow. And then Anthony also looked impressive in the pan, and this is why. So this one has more of a sheer base, but lots of shimmer to contrast it. Beautiful. Okay, we have Justin. This is the greens now. Kevin. Christopher. I think a couple of the names are spelled wrong on the website. And then John. Ooh, green is also very, very satisfying to swatch. These are definitely more pigmented shimmers than the first few. So Justin, it's this very bright neon green. Kevin, ooh, Kevin has almost a little bit of a blue shift. Then we have Christopher, which is more deep. Definitely for somebody who's very bold, that's going to be gorgeous. And then John... It's a little bit more electric, and you can see that these shades, they're just swatching like they're thicker, right? It's not just me. Then we have Noah. This one's going to be pretty. Samuel, which is a nice silver. Robert and Gabriel. Mm, this shade right here. Robert. What a beautiful cool tone. Okay. So Noah, let's see. Yep. A beautiful green. I feel like... While all of these are close, they each hold their own. You know, they're still all gorgeous in their own right. No dupes of each other. Samuel is like silver. It's very, very reflective. Robert has a little bit more purple in it. And then we have Gabriel. This is a little bit more earthy. Really up my alley, this green is. And we have the last two. Luke for my neutral lovers. Looks like it's going to be insane. And then... No, this is James, excuse me, and then this last one is Luke. So James and Luke, a little bit more of like a metal kind of color. 
So James, yup. I mean, stunning. And you can see I am getting fallout because these are thicker. And then that's Luke right there, more purple. Wow, that's impressive. So look at numbers 1 through 12 compared to the rest. You can see the different formulations here, but this, these later colors in the S is really, really vibrant and bold. I think very great quality for the $6 price point, am I right? So again, this is S1 all the way down to S12, S13 all the way down to S30. Pretty dang insane. Whew. I'm gonna leave these swatches on my arms for a little while because they're just too gorgeous, but mm, that was a good swatch and sip. Both the drinks and the very satisfying swatches. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hanging out and just looking at some beautiful eyeshadows with me. Again, if you are interested in picking any of these up, I do have a discount code, it is affiliated, and I will be talking about these on my community tab once they launch. So let me know down below, what are your favorite shades? What shades do you plan on picking up? I've talked about Odin's Eye nonstop because I really think they do have one of the best formulas, comparable and in some cases better than Pat McGrath and Natasha Denona. It took me a while to admit that out loud, but it's true. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful, and I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys, have a good one. Pretty dang. Pretty dang insane.